for USC Upstate. They added this game late. They probably played a lot of basketball in the last five days. They have played a lot of basketball in the last five days. This is their third game, actually. And when you're building a program like they're trying to do and you have so many newcomers, I think it's a good thing to add a game like this to show everybody, hey, look, this is ultimately where every team wants to be, right? Top 10 in the country. That's where Carolina is. Where do we measure up right now? Kelly missed her first shot, but got her own rebound. Now Usby with the power, so also miss. And a rebound for the Spartans as you take a look at the starters across the bottom of your ACC network screen. Levine, Johnson, Garassi, Gordon, and Markham. And Markham, the only returning player on the team. And one thing they're really going to have to do is play as a team. They've got a height disadvantage at every position. Box out, don't allow those extra chances for Carolina. Great dish from Deja Kelly to Usby for the first points of this game. Another nice crowd on Ugly Sweater Day. You had to get here early to get one of those cool t-shirts that Kyle Straub was wearing. They just told us they were a hot commodity. Hold on to it with your life, so I put it on. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to rip it off of you, and no one's going to stop Usby early. It's going to be the game plan for Carolina. They're going to have an easy time in the paint because of the size difference. So Usby with the first four points for North Carolina and this defense for North Carolina, which has been a trademark of the team under Courtney Banghart. Their defense has been smothering. I think that's the trademark of any good team is defense. You know, the offense can have some bad days, some off days, but if you come to the floor every day and play a good defensive game, you're going to be in every single game. Eva Hodgson from three. Told you in the open, she's the known commodity from deep. You cannot leave her open. She'll make it if you do. Levine. Two Levine sisters will both feature. They are twins. With the left hand, in and out. And Kennedy Todd Williams will push it. The Hodgson, great. Oh, intercepted there. Tried to force it to Usby as she went right down the spine. Off the turnover, USC Upstate at the bucket in their first points of the game. Nice job of taking the turnover and turning it into a fast break point by USC Upstate. You don't allow Carolina to get set up defensively, it's going to be easier for you. And what she meant by that is she's great defensively, can guard one through four, all around player. Talked about the three point shot in the open that is just a huge weapon. Lane violation. Hodson with the deny of Levine. Usby with a hand in the face, but didn't matter. Good shot there from distance for Upstate by Gordon, the sophomore from New Boston, Indiana, a transfer from Central Michigan. And if USC Upstate wants to stay in this game, they're going to have to knock down some contested threes like that one. Kennedy Todd Williams will drive to the basket and go back to the line. She said, you know, it's okay that we lost that because we had contested threes. Hands were up. And if you do that defensively, sometimes players are just going to make a shot. That's what happened right there. And Todd Williams finishes the second. And it's 10-5, North Carolina. Spartans saw the high pick. Great defense from Hudson. Poole tries to close out, but another three. This one from A.C. Markham, the one returner. They've hit a couple of contested threes, and they've turned Carolina over. Got to like that they came into this game and didn't just have the mentality of this is a huge hill to climb. They came out, and they're battling. Asia Kelly has really mastered that shot right there on the elbow. Three. Closing out was Kelly, and the first three missed there from USC Upstate rebound Usby. Yeah, I don't know that any coach is going to go look for twins, sisters, <laughs> to put on a team as you're trying to build a program as Kelly hits the corner three. Three minutes and 40 seconds remaining here in the first. Again, if you're just popping in, North Carolina off to a 7-0 run. Timeout called by their new head coach, Jason Williams, and a nice response. There's Usby again with those quick hands. Staying with it, though, on the turn is A.C. Markham, and Markham's got five. Henry Todd Williams will set her feet from three. Little long, Usby, and the rebound there. Oh, I really like what Upstate was doing. Cool, pretty good defense, so they can't go down low. Kelly on the push. Kelly can go coast to coast. She'll get fouled and go to the line. 
I think she is starting to establish herself. She's somebody that Courtney Banghart told us that last season as a freshman, she constantly told her, I just can't wait until you see yourself through my eyes. Because once you do, you realize that you're good enough to be on this level and start on this level. And it's, it's coming around for the sophomore. Yeah, 23 points and eight rebounds against South Carolina State. She has another big game today against USC Upstate. Right around Spartanburg, South Carolina. Smallest player on the court. Extra pass. Another three. Deja Kelly, great tip right there. Those are the little things. Outlet from Poole to Hodson. Hodson will attack the basket. Use her body. Eva Hodson. She wants a four or a five who can guard a one or a two because they're going to switch. Adams with a hand in the face. Another miss. Another rebound for Kennedy Todd Williams. Kennedy Todd Williams. With three points and a couple boards. Hodson in and out. Unlucky. Anya Poole with the rebound. Why not go right back up with it? Anya Poole. And she has worked herself into incredible shape. The ability to step out. Good shot there. Adams trying to get position on the post. USC Upstate with nine players averaging over 20 minutes. When I asked Jason Williams about that, about his depth, he said, well, let's just call it an exploration as he tries to find the right five. Here's Paris. Yes. That's the defense we talked lead. about. Adams out on the top of the key, coming all the way down. Gets her defender. Yeah, Adams and Key are so long and so quick. They're both out there on the court together with Kelly, Hodson, and Paris. Kelly and Hodson, the two starters, still in there. Kelly earlier on the left side, now on the right side. Kelly hot. A little crossover, a little pull up. Starting the second quarter for Banghart, it's Paris, Key, Kelly, Adams, and Hodson. Paris trying to thread the needle to Hodson. We've got a kick. Kind of a matchup zone here for the Spartans. Paris made one earlier. This one off the rim. Key gets her hand on it with eight minutes and 25 seconds left here in the first half. Adams steps back in, hand in the face, and push underneath. See a little bit of pressure there from the Spartans. Paris cross court pass to Usby. Kennedy Todd Williams in and out. Good defense here. Paris dribbles out of trouble. Adams was looking down at Key. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Usby drives in. It's actually funny when I, I talked with Co uh, Courtney Banger at the beginning of the year about it. She said, you know, obviously, I'd like to, the tread to be left on the tires, but you're never going to tell a player not to go play for their country. The international experience that you gain, it's invaluable. Played a lot of basketball. That's well said. So Isabella. Makes the second, and it's 25-14. Sparta staying with that pressure. I like it. It's all part of Coach Williams experimenting, trying to find the right formula, the right defense. Kennedy Todd Williams. Boy, we jinxed her, I think. Came in hot and heavy on her <laughs> three-point shooting. Usby right back. Kennedy Todd Williams to Usby. What a great play. Talk about the depth of the front court for Carolina. It's not just bodies, but it's different styles. So depending on what kind of a team they're going against, you've got the athletic key and Adams who can spread the floor, get out on the perimeter. Not, not a lot of turnaround for them before that game against Michigan. They'll have an off day tomorrow, we were told, then practice and immediately hit the bus and head out to Charlotte. Here's Usby having a good game with eight points. Kennedy Todd Williams in. There you go. Kennedy Todd Williams has six. Much more in rhythm. And she's mentioned Ivory Ladder by name. She knows she played here at one time. <laughs> Here's Poole. Great footwork. Anya Poole. She's got four. Perfect two for two. She is so efficient. And you can see why there's so much excitement around this team in Chapel Hill this season. The veteran group with Poole and the rest of those juniors to go with those three freshmen that we just showed you. And then the junior or the sophomore, excuse me, and Adams. There's Poole. Pool. Oh, and gets it ripped away. Pool was thinking coast to coast. One right back. Pool, good pass over to Paris. And Paris with two. She's got five. Love the unselfish play there to give it up to Paris for the basket. 
Love the defense out on the perimeter. 11-0 run for North Carolina. Perfect five for five from the floor. Now settle in again defensively. A scoring drought of four minutes long now for the Spartans. Trying to end it here, but Kennedy Todd Williams gets those quick hands in there. The outlet and turned over. I was just getting ready to say Carolina's done a better job of taking care of the ball here in the second. Carolina a little bit slow to close, and the shooter's touch right there from number 14, Trinity Johnson. The threes are keeping USC Upstate with a little bit of life in this one. They had two that kept them within single digits in the first. A little bit more of a bigger gap now, but anything that they can find offensively. Driving to the basket and a foul call. She's going to have her games and her moments where she takes her lumps and has her struggles. That'll be huge for her as her career continues to evolve. Listed at five foot four. Zelaya wanted the three. It's a big lineup right here for Carolina. Poole, Zelaya, and Adams all out there. Three strokes of Poole. Anya Poole is really coming on. So is Hodgson with the turnover back in. That's a backbreaker right there. Eva Hodgson again. Eva Hodgson, a one-woman show. Drops it off to Kelly. Yes. Hodgson brings the energy for this team from day one. The competitor they brought in, and you see it here tonight. A little move. There's Laya. Had it for a moment. Zelaya gets the block. Should have been a foul there. Yeah, good call, Kyle. I thought Adams got pushed as well. Yes, yes. Kelly diving on the floor. Walker will give it up from three and deep range there from Jurassic. He cut to 20s, Elias open and up and in. Great job positioned on the box. I, I love the offensive possession from USC Upstate. You get the open three, you knock it down, but you got to get back on defense. Too easy for Carolina there. Elias with a good run here. Seven minutes plus off the bench. And she is on the board. And with the quick turnaround, having just played against Wofford and having Michigan coming up, those minutes are big to save some of the legs for uh, the other players. Just one returning player. Now it's real easy to look at a roster when you've got a new coach and say, well, there were eight transfers. A few of them are grad transfers. Why would you want to go to a program that's just building when you've got one year left? But you find that player that wants to be the one to create the foundation. It may not be them that goes on to win something, but they create the foundation that allows other teams to. Well said, Kyle, as David Kelly makes the second. And at the half, North Carolina up big on SC Upstate, their last home non-conference matchup of the year. As we mentioned, they'll head to Charlotte in a couple days to take on Michigan. And then Florida State headed to Chapel Hill. Carolina has had their games, like we see tonight, where you can work on some things and their tune-ups, but they've also played some really tough competition. Three ranked teams already on the season, and they've gone two and one against them. Four steals for Hodgson, and Hodgson up and in. Hodgson with nine points and four steals. Extra pass as Poole takes a little while to get down. Usby again with the rebound. I like that both Usby and Kennedy Todd Williams drove it, realized they didn't have anything, and instead of forcing it, kicked it out. There's Kelly showing the strength. I thought she was fouled. Contested by Hodgson and rebounded by Kelly. Kelly, a stat stuffer night, six rebounds. Three rebounds, rather, for Kelly. My apologies. Kelly now will shoot it again, and Kelly Broken it, six for seven. Kelly, great defense from Kelly, a little push off. Poole comes down defensively on the post. That's just a good shot. They were freshmen that were just thrown into the fire. There really was nobody for them to learn from uh, sitting on the bench. Hodgson thought she had earned the charge, went down on the contact. The referees have been consistent though on both sides. 
little push there on Usby. Analysts, coaches, players talk about running the court, being rewarded for doing so, and Usby runs the court, gets better positioning, and it leads to the foul and the free throws. Bounds to Anya Poole. Hodgson. The zone here from the Spartans. Hodgson wide open. Thank you. Really great play call right there from the bench. Kelly cutting through, forced the defense to collapse with her, brought those guards up top, and it left Hodgson all alone. 55 to 26. Bucket much needed there from upstate. The finish by Johnson. Kennedy Todd Williams will give it to Poole. He getting ready to come in. Usby at the free throw line. Back of the rim. Hodgson muscle. Eva Hodgson have a game. 14 points. It was 10-8 North Carolina, and then good night, Irene. Carolina got a little bit sloppy, starting to clean things up. Poole looking for Key. Key with that sweet, soft left hand. When I talked with Coach Banghart about her and coming back from a year off, she made a really great point that Key hadn't played in two years because her high school didn't play due to COVID. So I said, wow, what does that do to a player? And she said, honestly, the thing that takes the longest, and it's something that Coach Banghart couldn't give an answer on, was where is she as far as mentally and the game being fast or slow for her? And she said, it's just, it's going to take some time. You have to be out there and play in a game for it to happen. She had the mental part and the physical part there, ripped the rebound away, found Kennedy Todd Williams, and Kennedy Todd Williams nails it from three. It's 62 to 30. I'll tell you what, though, when there, all of it does come together for her, watch out rest of the country, because from what I heard in the secret scrimmage, she went down in the injury. Great to have the wisdom of Kyle Straub. I'm Dean Linky. Good to be with you on a Friday night in Chapel Hill. Carmichael, Anya Poole, great pass from Adams. Adams so unselfish in Poole now with eight points to go with her seven rebounds. Threw a little pump fake in there, two towards the free throw line, draw the defense just a little bit off. Opened it up for Poole. Good take. At Belmont Abbey. There's going to be a lot of things that they can go ahead and take a look at. Kennedy Todd Williams, her hands are just so fast. So fast and she's so long that she doesn't need to be right up on you. And it can be deceiving as somebody with the ball. Key. Overpass there, a little bit too deep. 90 seconds remaining here in the third. 64 to 35, Key. Look how long this team is out there right now with Zelaya, Key, and Adams, along with Kennedy Todd Williams. Zelaya with the rebound. Zelaya for eight minutes of action here. Still waiting to see, see Malou Chitenge. We've talked a lot about the Spartans experimenting, going with different rotations out there to see what fits best. You're seeing the same from Carolina, but a, a little bit different reason, though. It's a, if we need to go to a big lineup, how does it look? And let's go ahead and get it out there. Expect a three to do from the perimeter. Create your own shot off the dribble. Harris's pass a little short. You want that crisp pass right there. And a turnover going the other way. Here come the Spartans. The break is on. This is why you start the season with the weave. Had to have been special for both of them to get an offer to play at the same school. I'm sure my dad, it's a lot easier on them traveling. Harris gets through the screen, tries to close it down and does enough. Key now to Kelly. Really great job by the freshman Paris to fight through those screens. Oh, what a hesitation. And Kelly wise to realize that, hey, we've peeled out. Let's go ahead and just double back and had a wide open lane. Excellent look from deep as the finish from three from Trinity Johnson. Adams saw this move against Wofford. That's really good defense there from Zelaya to hold her ground, not get off her feet into the air. Oh, oh Adams, was that a two-handed block? They play volleyball here, and I think she may have been playing that sport for a second. 
What a freak athlete. Just phenomenal potential, number 20. Not much you can do here if you're the Spartan. Shot clock running down. Look at the closeout speed. Yes. The ball's not even out of her hand. Two hands with the block. 68 to 40. Adams after the block, the move! Show us what you can do, number 20. Kelly, a floater, and rolls out. Kelly shooting 70%, 7 for 10. Looking to take the charge, but called for the block there is Adam. She was inside. Chitenge had the steal there, gave it to Kelly. Now here's Paris trying to dance with a good pass. Over to Balou, Chitenge up and in. That's what you want to see. You attack his own defense, it collapses on you. Yeah, we talked about Hilton Banghart with a lead that is ringing through the streets of Chapel Hill. Usby. Usby. Pretty good handle, finds Kelly. Kelly takes contact, and Kelly will go to the line. Hopefully she's okay for the end one. Deja Kelly. Do you pass it, or do you go to the basket? She decided to take it herself, and it was the right decision. See if she can finish the three-point play now. Career 81% free throw shooter. Came into this game at 70% and gets the and one. Gives her 20 in the game. You see right there. No easy ones at all. Hudson. With two points, this is the first. Second, also missed. And if this team has aspirations of going beyond the Sweet 16 like they did last year, they've got to get better at the free throw line. A speed with the rebound. Rips it out of there, will push it. Key running the court. Paris sets her feet, yes. She's always consistent. Never have to pick, up, pick her up, never have to knock her down. She just always is where she needs to be. Usby goes to Hodson. Hodson drives it to the lane. Hodson has 16. Key down on the box. Key with her right hand, yes. Sitting at 82, coming off 99 against Wofford. Oh, Key. Boy, she just rips it out of the air, dribbles down with her left hand, and turns it over, so one dribble too many. Paris was open. Young player just trying to do a little bit too much. You get that rebound down, find the guard, kick it out. The Spartans off of that turnover score. He was trying to find Maluch Tenge down low. Paris puts it between her legs. Really good handle. What a finish. Great job of using the glass. A couple defenders in front of her didn't try to go through him. Instead, just went around him. Ten points for Paris. Four for seven from the floor. mentioned earlier, my son Maxwell Lincoln, the captain of the practice team, loves the play of Paris. And like you said earlier, she is going to be able to do real deal for the Tarios as she's got 12. Yeah, the connection that Hodgson and Paris have as teammates is solid as well. Nice bucket here. And you got to give the Spartans credit. They have hung in here. They have not hung their head at all. They've continued to try to bring it against the number seven team in the country, North Carolina. Harris, new career high. She's feeling it. You see what confidence can do for a player. You see one go in, and the rest of them just seem to follow. Harris with a career high 15 points as they get ready for Michigan and then ACC play. Harris starting to heat up. Final eight seconds of the game. The Spartans go strong. They try to stay with it. Chitenge is there. They'll have off tomorrow, practice on Sunday, and then Carolina's on a bus off to Charlotte for their final non-conference game, and it'll be a tough one against Michigan.
Final score, North Carolina 89, Upstate 47. Overall, really great game from Carolina in their last chance at home to tune up.